obviously you've got one of the greatest front row seats um, for Sunday night football, but a literal one there in Cincinnati for a Bengals team that is just so terrific with Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase right now. How good do you think the Bengals can be right now in these playoffs that they have gotten at least one home game um, sealed and cemented? What do you think about that one, Chris? Yeah, I, 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 the interesting thing about this team, as far as I'm concerned, is they are the team that if you had to say, all right, of the other AFC teams in the playoffs, you know, who has a chance to go score points with Kansas City? Because that's probably in Buffalo, you know. some. Uh, uh, so I would say Cincinnati does. Now, can they hold up on defense? Does this offensive line hold up? Uh, under playoff sort of pressure, uh, I don't know, but I tell you, I'll take Joe Burrow, mm. uh, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, C.J. Uzama, and Jamar Chase, and go play anybody. And and, and um, you know the 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 running backs are tough. So I, I think this is a team that is very much uh, has the possibility of being of being that high-scoring team, I tend to think they're probably a year away. But Joe Burrow has been the best player in college football that PFF has ever seen. Last year came out and was brilliant as a rookie. Got hurt. How many quarterbacks do we see come back and be terrible the year after a knee injury? If anything, he was the best he's ever been. Um, and, And Jamar Chase, the two biggest games of the year that I thought Cincinnati played this year were at Baltimore to sort of create that paradigm shift that yep. they could compete there. They blow out the Ravens there. And he was going against Marlon Humphrey, who, for my money, is one of the best quarterbacks in, in all of football. He put on a phenomenal show. And against Kansas City, I thought the game was over. It was 14 to nothing in in Cincinnati. And all of a sudden, Jamar Chase did what he's done all season long, which is catch one, make seven people miss, score a touchdown, and all of a sudden you're like, hey, 14-7. Hey, you know, they cut a chance, and they were down 14 again. And then they got lucky with the kickoff return getting called back. So there were a lot of things that happened. But as far as a guy that his teammates look at him and believe that these two guys have magic within them, Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase come about as close to the top of that list right now for a, an organization that isn't one of the rock star organizations that you can name. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.